morning. It is Monday morning. Cat hair bag is fruity. I'm going to be having some of this almond milk and a delicious fruit bowl for breakfast with pumpkin seeds and raisins and Hi everybody, some... Kat here, Vegas Fruity, and um, I'm about to make a, um, today's a high carb, low fat day, and I'm about to make a really quick and easy lunch that I like to go to when I don't have a lot of time, but it's very satisfying and really good for me. Um, and that is basically kind of like a hot pot that I throw together. I have a favorite restaurant that I go to with our eldest son and it's called Swish Japanese Hot Pot and um, basically we go there and they bring you your own special burner and you order a certain particular broth. I usually go with the veggie broth and um, then you order the accoutrements that come in and you cook it yourself. So you put the noodles in as it gets hot and you put in your veggies. And so I thought one day, you know what, I could do this at home and that would be kind of fun. So it's pretty simple so I'm just going to show you how I make mine. And then uh, using my stove, stove top, and, um, and you can uh, make yours however you'd like. Uh, so anyway, this particular one is dedicated to the existential vegan and also plant-based Tony, who um, had asked me, they both asked me about my hot pots. So I kind of wanted to show them how I do it. Um, hey guys, how you doing? Uh, and I'm sorry I didn't do it before this. What I did was last week I had made one, and then when you asked me to make a video, um, I actually had a whole bunch left over so I couldn't make another one because I made, I over made it for my husband and my son and then they didn't end up eating it. So I ended up having to eat it on my hard carb days. So it took a while till I could get back and make a video. So here we go. I really use a um, vegetable, vegetable cooking stock instead of a broth because I like it's a little zestier. If you do want it a little more zestier, you could use some of these. Uh, these are bouillon cubes, they're natural, they're vegan and they're gluten free. And I, I usually like to add maybe like a quarter um, of one of these cubes to my broth just to make it even more rich. Um, so those are what I use. I'm going to be using these rice sticks as my noodles. You can use all different types of noodles. Just play around and see what kind of noodles you like best. Basically heat up the broth, um, you know, however much you want that you're going to consume on the stove. And then I add my rice sticks right into that. I'm going to turn the heat up just a little bit and I really want those to cook. What I'm going to put in my hot pot, and you can uh, vary this based on your taste and what you want to add to it. But I'm going to be using some sprouted tofu. I'm going to be using um, this, uh, some baby bok choy. I've got some green onions. I've got a bit of a carrot. And then I've got some broccoli. I'm going to use some purple onion, a few mushrooms, a zucchini, red bell pepper, and I've got some spinach I'm going to throw in on top too. So let me just cut all that all cut up and um, you can cut it in whatever shape that suits your needs. And my tofu, I forgot to mention, is actually firm and I didn't bother to squeeze it out because it's going right into the bouillon or the uh, the While broth. my noodles are cooking over medium heat and I'm going to turn it up to over to medium high heat. I'm just going to set a colander right up here on top and I'm going to step my veggies in here and cover them so that they'll steam for just a few minutes. And I left out the spinach and the onions. I'm going to add that to my bowl. And the tofu, I'm going to add to the broth. So I want the tofu to pick up all the nice uh, richness of the broth. And so that's going to be in here with the noodles. The veggies are going to go back on top and I'm going to cover them for maybe, I don't know, maybe five minutes at the most. It's been five minutes and I really don't want to overcook them for this hot pot. I want them to be fairly crispy still and have that nice beautiful bold uh, color so that they you can really get all this flavor from them. I don't want them to be overdone but uh, they're not done enough for me so I'm going to give them about three more minutes. I'm going to cover Eight them minutes up. total and it's just perfect. So I'm going to plate Here's it up. where I stir in my um, green onions and my spinach and it's going to wilt the spinach because the broth is really, really warm. And then I'll just put my other veggies up on top. I've got a cornucopia of flavor in here. I've got my noodles, I've got my tofu and everything. Look at these beautiful vegetables. And you can add whatever sauce to it you want. You could put a little tamari in. You could actually add some sriracha to it if you want to. And, um, you know, some pepper, some garlic, and just really go to town on what you're going to add to this. Add some different things like uh, bean sprouts, fennel, um, you know, whatever you want, celery, just mix it up to whatever kind of veggies you want and just enjoy a delicious hot pot. 
And that concludes the hot pot. I'm just about to sit down and have a wonderful lunch. So thanks for making it with me today and uh, take a look on over to the two channels I mentioned. I'm gonna put a link down below for the Existential Vegan and for Plant-Based Tony. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Have a good day, bye.